Good evening everybody and welcome back to the Sullivan family. It's Wednesday evening. Uh, this would normally be the time that we do a question and answer vlog, but tonight Zoe and I want to discuss a topic that has been really bothering us for the last three weeks and it's not, we have not stopped talking about it have we and, and kind of, and it's been on the news and everything else. So that topic is the cost of living crisis that's going to hit the UK and possibly the rest of the world I think, I think it's going to hit everybody to some degree. So um, that's the topic tonight and first of all I have, I have literally been writing down lots of information because I didn't want to start this vlog tonight. Uh, not knowing the full facts and figures because uh, not not knowing where to get help and all that kind of stuff as well. So this is more for information and kind of how we feel about it and how it's going to affect, literally how it's going to affect us. Not, we're not making it up. This is how it's going to affect us. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to start with how much we're paying for energy now and how much we're looking at having to pay for energy, if that makes sense. So first of all then, we are with E.ON. Uh, our current contract is the fixed one year V6, which ends for us in April, it's 23rd of April. That's when our contract ends, right? So at the moment we're paying a rate of uh, nearly 19p uh, per kilowatt hour for electric, and um, we're paying 23p per day. Uh, that's that's the charge, isn't it? That's the standard day charge. For gas, we're paying 3.1 pence per kilowatt hour and we are also paying 21p roughly per day for the standard charge now eon so the first my first book of call was eon uh and i went on and did a basically a search for a renewal uh just to see what they would offer is and there was only one offer right and this was the offer so this was this was called the 24 month fixed two year v17 right bear with me so the electricity it is 33, nearly 34p per kilowatt hour, right? So that's almost double what it was before. And the daily charge is 50p. Which is more than double. Which is more than double what it was before, right? The gas is eight, uh, just uh, nearly nine pence per kilowatt hour, which is three, three times, times what it was before, right? And the daily charge for energy is 21p, which is about the same as it was before, right? So bear in mind, the daily charge was the same as it was before, but the um, the kilowatt hour rate is three times what it was before, right? And and to be honest with you, gas is our absolute killer, isn't it? Electricity in the winter is, it is. Electricity is not too bad, not but so gas bad is the killer. in the summer, but in the winter it's, it's cold. And yeah. this house doesn't keep, it doesn't keep its heat and it's an old building, isn't it? And yep. we have the added bonus that because we have mold problems, we have to keep the windows open and heating on. Um, so basically you're heating like the outside and it's it's just something that really bugs me. But um, unfortunately, because we have mold issues and they don't sort the mold out in the house, other than obviously cleaning the mold, which you do all the time, you have to ventilate and heat. So, you know, if the house is too, if the house is too cold, then the mold grows. If the house, if the, you know, if the windows aren't opened every single day and I open them in the mornings and leave them open for the day, close them at night. I mean, our bedroom window is always open because somebody doesn't like not having the, um, the window okay, open at night. Hot, but, you know, like there's, there's lots of people in each room. So you have to, I mean, it's, we've not long, well, last year we had new windows, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, new windows and, and new doors. That made a little bit of difference, but... It's because the rest of the house is, is still has mold problems. It's still we had new guttering, which did make a difference to one particular area of mold we had in one of the wardrobe. But the rest of the house is, you know, the bathrooms. Every, every room has got some mold problem. Yeah, it in, does. It does have a mold issue. Um, so to combat that and to kind of minimise it, we are, you know, we have to keep the heating on. But and also with the heating, if we turn it, if we turn it off for any length of time it gets really cold and you've got to start from scratch again, haven't you? So we kind of like to keep it ticking over. Not just that. I mean, I'm in the house all day long, mm. most of the time with small children. And, you know, when you're at, if we were out of work all day, if everybody was out of the house all day, we'd probably turn it off for most of the day and put it on, you know, an hour timer to, to come on an hour before you come home from work and school. But I'm at home all day and I do turn it right down, you know, during the day. But sometimes especially when you've been out and done the school run and it's cold and 
you know, the little ones are cold, you do have to turn it back on because it's cold. I mean, we do put, I mean, I'm going to jump around a cardigan. Yeah. And I really feel the cold really badly. Um, I don't so much, but. But I, I do, I always have done. I can't mm -hmm. help it. I've got bad circulation. I feel the cold really badly. Um, but, you know, we try and keep it down as much as we can during the day. Uh, but in the evenings, you know, everyone's at home and it's, you, you, you're kind of, you're kind of at the point where you're thinking, um, you know, should I have the heating on? Should we be warm? Should we be, I know you go back to like when we were growing up and you, you would get told to put another jumper on or whatever, but we we do that. You know, the kids mm, put extra yeah. clothes on. They've all got big, massive hoodie things that they all wear. So they all, you know, they all put socks on. They all do all those things already because, you know, we've always tried to kind of keep our energy down, but equally you think, <sighs> we don't, you know, you don't, you don't, we don't do much. We don't go very far. We don't spend money on going out. We don't go on holiday. We don't do any of those things. We should surely at least be able to afford to heat our home and live and use electric and well. use electric. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, yeah. Okay, so going back, going back to the costs then, right? So the the one uh, the one and only offer that Eon are doing at the moment for us who are um, current customers. We'll see our bills rise from £240 a month for paying now, which just about covers it, right, um, to £480 a month. That's what I worked out. So it'll be £480 a month using the same amount of energy that we use now. That's gas and electric. It's, we're looking at four eighty a month, right? So remember that. Now, basically what's happened, for, those, for anybody that, that, you know, hasn't seen what's happening, all right, this is basically what's happening, okay? So on Tuesday the 3rd of February 2022, Right, Ofgem announced that the price um, would rise, so the price gap, the price cap would rise by about seven hundred pound per month for the average family. Right, so that's the average family. So at the moment, all most energy companies now aren't even going; they're not even putting prices forward to um, your search engines to your comparison sites. Right, so I went on to Go Compare; they've paused all of their kind of comparison offers. That you just can't get one. Right, scary. Uh, money supermarket will right they will they do have offers on but they're not kind of they've gone over what they should be doing really so so they're looking at the cheapest we could get on money supermarket is 540 pound a month and that's for our usage so you put your usage in don't you when you're searching and all that kind of stuff going through i literally mo most of these comparison sites now are, have completely kind of shut shut the energy side of it down for now um and the main uh, advice at the moment is to um, just wait and see. So, so it's just wait and see what happens in April. So whatever tariff you're on now, just, just stay on it, unless you have to switch, obviously. But if you're having to switch now, God, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really don't know what you're gonna do. Um, the, the prices at the moment are ridiculous. So um, it's quite scary. Well, it is, it's quite because scary. you only just afford, you know, 250 or 240 pound a month is quite a lot. And most people say that's a lot of money, but equally, you know we've got a lot of people in the house and i mean our, our electric is obviously we've always got people charging things again i'm at home all day most of the time so you know during during the winter during the summer our bills are not as much and normally what happens during the year is that what we spend in the winter we carry on paying the direct debit the same amount all year round and then what we what we you know it's, it's normally up more in the winter but we pay it off in the summer the because up, we turn the heating off in mm -hmm. the summer so we don't need it on and you know we don't use as much electric you don't need the lights on all the time you don't need you know they're out in the garden so the, the tv isn't on or you know they're not necessarily charging things up quite as much because they're not using them quite as much because we're outside all the time but during the winter this is scotland it's cold a lot of the time the weather is just not good enough to be outside so you do spend a lot of time indoors so you know we do use but that that kind of money that payment normally takes us through the whole year doesn't it yeah. so we will use half we'll end up by the beginning of the following winter probably either just broken even or or tiny bit in credit yeah and then we know that that will then carry forward to the next, the next winter year. and the next summer and that's that's been okay i mean it is quite a lot of money but then there's a lot of people in our house but to double that or more than double that there's just no way there's no way we can afford i mean how anybody's supposed no to way. afford 540 pound a month for for energy i don't know i, I literally don't know I mean, that's over a quarter of my wages on energy. We, you know I mean, we, so, we, but I budget every month. You've seen my budgeting videos. I budget every month to literally within a penny 
of what we earn and yeah. we spend we don't we don't really we're not really able to save save much or anything to be honest because you know and I know a lot of people say well you you chose to have a big family yeah we did but we you know we get by and we we cut out a lot of things to, to in order to have to a big family um and we we manage and we we get by but just you know just we just um kind of just break even every month so we? we just about manage to afford everything we don't afford the luxuries really i mean we'll have a takeaway and you know yeah. birthdays and stuff are the, the special occasions for for the kids to have stuff but they don't get stuff bought for them all the time they don't i mean they've got mobile phones and mobile phone contracts which kind of replaces the pocket money thing yeah. but you know they don't have we don't go on holidays no. we don't do all those sorts of that's things. something i want to clear up actually because somebody did comment um on one of our previous videos that why don't you just get rid of the kids phones that's all they have right so so i want to clarify that because we get we let the kids have mobile phone contracts because we don't give them any pocket money and they do help us out a lot with the children so i just wanted to clarify that now that's why they have phone contracts and you know most teenagers need phone contracts as well they need a phone they need, yeah, they need, they need a phone, phone for school especially they need, for school yeah so they, so they need and as far as i'm concerned i'd rather the the deals they get on a contract is far better than them spending you know 10 20 quid 30 quid asking me for a tenner to put more credit on their phone and it's it works out Cheaper than long yeah, anyway. and you know, the, why shouldn't they yeah. be entitled to having something that's 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 theirs? You know, that's something that they can um, contact. Well, they, they earn it because well, they, they help do, us yeah, out. They do. So, that's their mm -hmm. kind of pocket money, if you like. Yeah. So, so just clearing that up because I've been trying to clear that up for for a while. So that's good. I've done that now. So we had a bit of a break there because then we had to go pick his ball up, didn't you? Yeah. So that was that was quite a good good place to stop. So we're back in the room. We're back in the room. Okay. For about 20 minutes. Yeah. Else <laughs> right. So what I want to go through, um, Martin Lewis, for those of you that don't know, Martin Lewis is a guy, in, for these, these are for, for our, our subscribers and watchers who aren't from the UK. Martin Lewis is a guy that does, uh, he's a money saving expert and he does um, hints and tips and stuff on how to save money and all this kind of stuff. And um, he, he, he's got all this information on his on his website which is uh money saving expert now what he's put is right these are these are um, a list of things that he's put on that is actually going to happen so i want to read those, those out to you now right so uh number one the price cap is going to rise by 54 percent in april so we know that this is the uk i don't know what's going to happen in the rest of the world but all i know is that the the, the price of energy is going up and up and up and up and up and up so it's got to affect everybody at some point okay so if things stay the same, this is number two. So if things stay the same, there will also be a price, there will also be a further rise of twenty percent in October. I don't know if anybody knew that. So that's like six seventy four percent. Yeah. Rise. So there's going to be a further twenty percent rise in October. Okay. Point three. Um, there are currently no tariffs cheaper than the rise. Okay. So so he's done a search th throughout the entire. Um, throughout the whole energy um world and he can't find anything cheaper than the rise that's going to happen so it also says in uh number this is number four so in october the loan not loan will um reduce bills by 200 pounds so this is that loan not loan thing that um, Rishi, Rishi Sunak yeah, has come up with really gonna um, be so it's 200 pounds um off your bill for that year 200 pounds but you have to pay it back right so you have to pay that back and you, you pay that back um, £40 per year for five years. So, so that's how they're going to do it. So they're going to give you £200, pointless. but then uh, put £40 back on a year. No, you, you take off a further £40 a year. Does that make sense? That makes sense, doesn't it? But you pay the £200 back over five, over five years, right? Point five. Uh, households in England, Scotland and Wales will get £150 rebate, um, tax rebate, in April, and that's for council tax, yeah, and that's for council tax bands A to D. So if you're in council tax bands A to D, and for those who are not from the UK, council tax is what we pay towards the upkeep of our local area, including bin collections and you know road maintenance, which toilets, cut, which have been cut, all those sorts of all things. things. That, that's that that's what cut. your council tax is yeah. for, right? So if you're in council, so your bin collection is now f don't just just don't even get me started. <laughs> bin collection is now three weekly. Our bin collection. Yeah. A couple of, last year or the year before, they weren't even cutting the grass in the park areas. 
so the kids couldn't go and play because they weren't even cutting the grass and it was down to local people to do it if you remember mm -hmm. the local people came out and and cut the, grass. cut the grass so that the kids could use the park i mean but that's what you're supposed to pay your council tax for. for right anyway so point six uh price fix for a year may not be the best option at the moment yeah so he's saying that the best advice is to shop around and as i said before that's all well and good but when there is no comparison sites doing anything you know there's no kind of competitive prices at the moment all of the energy i think most of the energy companies are going way party time to be honest that's my own personal opinion uh and the price cap is just like wait that's it so, so that's going to be well it's like it's like a massive payday for them isn't it really uh right so moving on from that then that's all that's all the points from the that's all the points from the money saving expert so so that's all the points i could really find at the moment to do with not very helpful, really. the cost of living that, that's it's it a the bit cost like, of living don't increase really know how to help you isn't it yeah it, it is really so that's all i could find for that so obviously, both Zoe and I have been chatting about this, and we've both said, "What are we going to do, right? What What are we going to do if we have to find five hundred pound a month for energy? What are we going to do?" And Zoe said, "Well, we just we can't pay it. it, right? We just can't pay it. We don't have it. If we don't have it, you can't pay it, right?" So I then looked into um, help for people that are struggling, right? So this is help for people that are struggling, and this is what Martin Lewis has put down, right? So he's put. Um, uh, Talk to your suppliers the first thing. So if you are really struggling, you have to contact your supplier straight away. I mean, most of the country, most of the UK is well. going to do that. It's going to do that, I, I think. I feel sorry for the people working on these. You know, we're, we're all going to go, look. Can't pay it. This is ridiculous. How can you expect me to pay f three, four, five, whatever your circumstances are? How, how can you triple your bill overnight or double your bill overnight right so, so it's just impossible so that's that's the first thing contact your supplier and that would work across across the world because... <laughs> this is a bowl with cakes what are you doing you fruit loop she's putting her cakes back out anyway what i was saying that oh, it's well <laughs> this is a serious subject hang on a sec they've gone now right so what I was saying is that would work across the, the entire planet, yeah, because you all get your energy from somebody. So well, whoever your supplier is, if you talk to them, that's the first step, right? So the second step is um, most suppliers have a hardship fund. I didn't know that. Most suppliers have a hardship fund. How I know, you, how I know you, that most of the time... How you qualify for that, I don't know. I know that most of the time when you phone up, well, it goes with any company, any, any a credit card, anything... You know, in the past, we've had to phone up and say, you know, we can't pay this amount. Um, we can only pay this amount. And there is some kind of, some kind of something that they have to accept. Um, what you mean? That you're some paying kind of, some something. Kind of law. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I'm just going I, back I think, to years ago when, you know, I think we, it's, we had if, issues. If you are struggling, but you are prepared to still pay yeah. something they have to accept it whether yeah. that's true i mean, right. I mean if that's... it's to do with other things like credit cards and store cards and stuff they'll just stop you you know you can pay it back but at a discounted rate but you won't be able to mm. use that anymore but when it comes to energy on a you know you're obviously using your energy all the time so that's where it becomes a little bit of a gray area because yeah, you can't afford to pay it but you still need your energy so you're just going to be building up more and more and more of a more and more debt, debt. Really, isn't it? and but it's going to be the same for every single person Every single person, pretty much, or eighty percent of the country. Okay, so the third point then: if you're in the UK, you can get one hundred and forty pound off bills with the warm home uh, discount. Don't know. You have to so you, for that. you have to qualify for that one as well. Um, also, you can apply to get funding for um, insulating your house and getting a better boiler. I didn't know that. So this is all on the Martin and Martin Lewis website. So, so on Money Saving Expert. So you can actually apply for um, free insulation and, and boiler grants to warm your home up and to reduce your, your bills. So that's another option. But they're the only options of help at the moment, you know, that, that are provided by the government or whatever. They're the only options you can you can go for. So anyway, that's talking about, that's talking about energy. Um, the other cost of living increase that's coming is national insurance and i've done some sums today uh the amount of national insurance we pay at the moment in this country is 12 percent it's going up to 13.25 percent so i currently pay 400 pound a month um national insurance 
And for those of you that are not from the UK, national insurance covers things like the NHS. Mainly, it's mainly the NHS, isn't it, really? I think that national insurance covers. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You know, drop a message. But as far as I'm concerned, national insurance is your kind of NHS. It's your medical cover and all that kind of stuff. So I currently pay £400 a month out of my wages. And that's now going to increase to £441 a month. So that's what 1.25% means to me, as well as, is £41 a month. So we're now looking at a potential increase across the board, just in national insurance and energy, of about 280 a month increase, really. Hopefully, you know, we still don't know because we're still going to see what the energy prices are in April, really. But as it stands, that's what the that's what it means to us. Well, that's the minimum, isn't it? Yeah, that's if it the goes minimum. Up more than that, then you could be looking at over three hundred pound a month. Yeah, but obviously, the cost of living, all this cost of living increase goes across the board. It's also um, the price of things is going up. You know, things the cost of the supermarkets, the, co the cost week. of your shopping is going to go up. Um, unfortunately, everything's going up, and I don't I don't really know what we do about it. I mean, especially when you got pe people like BP making nine billion pound in profit. I don't, see, this is a bit I don't understand, don't and, and you know, I, I don't think I'm I don't think I'm necessarily stupid. I might not know the ins and outs of of every single thing, and I know you kind of I do the finance side, but you always do the you know renewing. I stuff, like to find out the I energy just, stuff. I just can't be bothered. I just get. I just get. The ut I do the utilities. Yeah, and I just say no, we can't afford it, or yes, we can afford it. Um, but I just correct me if I. Do you know what? I just don't understand how you can have two of the main oil companies, massive oil and gas companies, BP and Shell, both saying that they've made billions of pounds worth of products. Profits. Pro pro profits, sorry. Billions of pounds worth of profits in this year. That I mean, Shell was saying the other week that they didn't even know what to do with the money. They, they you know, they were going to... Oh, they were giving it to the shareholders, They were giving it to the shareholders. Mm -hmm. And now BP is saying, yeah, but they need to invest, reinvest it back into... Um, uh, search renewable, search, renewable, renewables, renewables and stuff yeah. like that, which, yes, is a good thing. But equally, at whose cost? Do you know what I mean? At people, normal people's cost because i just i don't understand where along in this line why we everything is going up so much and it's not just a tiny little bit you're talking like three times as much that's like 75 percent in some things going up when people are already struggling you know people are already struggling you've got people that have lost their homes their businesses everything during covid um lost their jobs You've got. I mean, we we kind of just about muddle through, don't we? Yeah. And we've got a roof over our head, and How I don't you know, know we muddle through. We we, we get by. Yeah. But you've got people as well that literally can't have to choose between heating and eating. I mean, what kind of? I just I just can't get my head around it. I cannot get my head around how these companies can be making so much money. And everyone's talking about it and you know it gets discussed in in government all the time and and they just seem to be totally totally blase about it really just so detached from the situation it's it's unreal they have literally no idea how normal people live it's just it's laughable how how they just have literally no idea how people are living day to day um and it it, it it's just it just mind numbing. I just I don't understand. I cannot get my head round how and they just they just say it like yes, this is just gonna happen. And you think, but how can it happen? Because we can't we can't afford to pay it. And you know, people down the street they can't afford to pay it. And people up the road they can't afford to pay it. You you're gonna find pretty much probably eighty percent of the population who cannot afford to pay it and it is gonna put people not to mention you're not even go you know, you're not you're talking about people not being able to afford to eat to heat their homes to um to buy clothes to, to, to do anything you know basic 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 human rights and we're not and nobody's doing anything about it the government are just saying oh we'll do this and we'll do that and we'll put this fund and it's all just it's all just crap really to be honest and i just don't just can't get my head around how they can how this can happen in 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 like 2022 and it just doesn't make i just don't get it i just don't get it i just don't i don't understand it's just too too much to, to see people and then you don't even go into the whole um mental health side of things and how it it has 
a detrimental effect on people's mental health and you know some people to the point of it pushes them to places that you don't you know it pushes some people are so in debt and so worried about how they're going to manage it ends up you know they take their own lives i mean how are we in that kind of situation where people are you know would prefer not to be here anymore than to try and work out how they're going to pay their bills it's just not right it's not right so anyway, that brings me on to my final point, which is uh, charities in the UK that are there to help, right? And everything I talk about now, I am going to put their links in our in our video description. So I've got the links all, all, all down on, on a note, so I'm going to put those on after. So the first charity I want to talk about is um, Home Energy Scotland. They're for obviously those people in Scotland. Um, they will go to for any energy issues um, up here where we live. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I've got the link for that in the video description. Um, then there's for the rest of the UK, there's National Energy Action. So they're another charity that are now looking. They, I mean, obviously these guys are gonna get swamped, but they are. They've got a lot of advice going on on their website. I had a look earlier, and and there's lots of um, lots of advice, lots of places to go. How they're all going to help us, I don't know. But, but... I, I think, I think the one of the things is that although you might think everyone's going to be contacting these people, you know, I can't be burdening them with my stuff as well. It's really important to you have to yeah to talk to people mm -hmm. too because you can't. It's not you know it's not something that you can you can't just hide away and think I can't manage this and I'm going to have to you know you need to talk to people. It needs to be even if they are swamped, you know. Yeah. It has to be discussed, doesn't it? It yeah. has to be talked about. You have to, you can't carry it on your own. You can't. Well, we, to be honest with you, we've done it in the past. Uh, we've been through debt, manage, uh, debt management and uh, that was a long time ago now, but we've been through it. So we've been been there, seen, done it. And, and it was the best thing that we ever did because at the time we were absolutely, how how we were surviving, I don't know. I think I think we were surviving on credit cards because we, in fact, I think at one point we were using credit cards to pay loans. So we got got ourselves in a really really sticky spot. It's and... taken us years to get back mm -hmm. to. Um, I mean, we were both young, a lot younger, and yeah. come from you know single, no children. To you know, it's that that back to that sort of time when you know when you haven't got a family and you haven't got any responsibilities. So you know, we spent we spent a lot of years getting ourselves out of that, haven't we? Yeah, we did. And mm -hmm. to be now on an even keel, where you know we might have. A couple of credit cards which have got not got very much on them we use them to just kind of buy things well, pay, it off, buy things well. pay it off but we've we've worked really really hard we've sacrificed a lot of stuff we've worked really hard to get where we are now yeah. and you kind of think this is just going to put us back five but, years but what i'm trying to say is there's no shame in going to these people no, you know, they're there to help at the end of the day Citizens Advice as well is another good one. Citizens Advice have got loads of stuff on it and they've got a, a specific energy thing as they well really going on. They are really helpful as well. Yeah, we've advice. been to Citizens Advice before. They're really good. Uh, and Step Change, we've used Step Change before. That's that's the government debt charity, the Step Change, and that's all free. Yeah, so rather than paying with one of these debt management agencies, just go to Step Change because they start the ball rolling for you. And um, I think there's more charities in Scotland as well. I think there's a Scottish think Debt as well, Advice as well. You can go to the council i know they've been yeah. quite they have departments in the council that can help yeah, with do. um and they can be really debt really management. helpful to help with debt management and stuff as well I, I don't i'm sure it's not just our council i'm sure other councils do as well um but you know they normally employ somebody who's that is their main job so you know there yeah. is always people that you can talk to about things always it's not gonna yeah. it's not gonna make it go away and it's not gonna yeah. you know something and needs to be done to you, you you may look at people and think and think god they're doing really well and they're, they're doing really well for themselves but you know people are cuz we, we've we've been through it we've done been there i mean we're we're paddling now a little bit um with our cost of living and all that kind of stuff you know we're not we're not going on mad holidays or anything like that you know we haven't we're, 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 had a holiday no i know we haven't we had a holiday for years we haven't been on a holiday we haven't even had a honeymoon I, I we've been married 17 years we've not had remember, a honeymoon i can't remember the last time we went on holiday and we went camping years, god, in knows. scotland oh yeah that's it and it rained but you know the but, kids don't. But they loved that, didn't they? they but did we try it, and that's why we try and take them on days out and things in the summer because we don't really. I mean, we have been we've been away with some friends, haven't we? Where mm -hmm. we stayed, um, but it's all been like in Scotland, not far away from here. We haven't been on like a plane holiday or anything. They've been like, adventures. Yeah, yeah, and they've been fun, and they've they've been a, a holiday away from home. So you you know, but we can't at the moment. We can't even afford to do that. And I mean, COVID's hit, and now we've only got like we haven't got enough uh, two 
cars that can fit us all in and you know circumstances have, have happened over the last couple of years you know with covid and and everything else and now you're kind of at the stage where we need another car now don't yeah, we? we've we got do. two vehicles but yeah. they're not enough space for everybody but again this is why we take you know we we will do days out and stuff yeah. in the summer instead but, just so that the kids feel that they've had but, some adventures if you like but like you've seen from us we always try and do the best that we can yeah we do we always we try and make things fun you know we kind of don't yeah. we make the best of it mm -hmm. and we don't kind of pass that worry on to the kids but no. for both of us it is a con it's constant i was saying this morning it's a constant thing at the back of your mind all the time isn't it constantly and you wake up in the morning and you have that kind of and you can't quite put your finger on it but it's all those things and then you know during the day other things happen other issues that we've got going on at the moment with with other other things um you know they kind of build up and build up and build up and there's only so much you can take before you just go i can't deal with this so and that's that's the worry of things yeah. like this sort of situation yeah um it's it's very easy to just tip you over the edge yeah so just to round it all up then um yeah so we're looking at the moment about a 300 pound a month increase but at the end of the day um there is literally no point worrying about it at the moment because um it could all it's i mean the the price rises aren't going to change but the amount the, the amounts that they're going to start charging us you know on these comparison sites and everything will start to come to a head in about april time so uh, I mean, there's no point for no point in us worrying about it until we have to switch, and then you know, then we'll start. Plus, I, like about I, it, I mean, really. like I say, you, you can't you can't worry about it if you can't pay it. Yeah. So I can't I, can't, I, I can't worry about something that I can't afford to pay. Um, so it's unnecessary, isn't it? As yeah. far as I kind of I have to the way I have to work because otherwise it will literally drive me round the bend and it will put me into a state of anxiety permanent anxiety so i have to kind of just brush things off a little bit and go do you know what i can't worry about that right now because it's not happening right now yeah. i know it's happening in the future but i can't i can't worry about it right now no. because it's just i have other things that i need to worry about first doesn't mean that it's not still there at the back of your mind but it's you know it's just one of those things that i can't sort of take on right now how i'm going to fight because i don't know how we're going to find it so i can't kind of go oh, we could jiggle this around jiggle that around because there is no more jiggling around we'll win the lottery it's fine <laughs> it's fine so anyway guys there we go um i hope that was helpful in some way i hope it was helpful from the fact of you know we need it needs talking about uh, it's not getting talked about enough no, that's why not. that's why we decided to do this vlog in any small way if we can start the, the conversation off somehow because it's not getting talked it's not getting talked about enough and there's not enough getting done about it so um there's nothing getting done about no. it and i think people are very much not talking about it because number one they're scared yeah which is understandable they don't know what to number do two, about it they don't know what to do about it and number three you kind of think it doesn't really matter what what at the moment the government are just getting away with doing what they want anyway so you know, don't even get me started that's another don't yeah, even get me started yeah. on that let's not let, but, god we'll be here for another half an hour but you know you kind of, I was saying about battles that again that we're having with somebody else. There's so many battles that you've, you've got to take on. You kind of think, I, you can take these battles on, but when you keep losing them all the time, you kind of think, well, what am I doing? You know, it's literally like banging your head against a brick wall. So, yeah, I think that's why it's not being talked about because I think people think that they can't, can't. There's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, we have to just accept it, but. Then again, do we? You know, do we have to accept it? What's going to happen if the whole country just go? I can't pay it. What are they going to do then? Yeah. What are the energy companies going to do? They're going to, are they going to stop us from? I don't, I, I, well, I'm just going on now. I'm just, <laughs> just going to shut up and go away now. These, these are all the little okay. Let's that raise it. Let's raise it back up. Let's raise it back up. You need your tea, don't you? That's what the problem is. You need your tea. Well, there you go, guys. So, um, topic discussed. Let us know what you think let, uh, in the comments below. Please let us know how you're getting on. If you're struggling, you know, um, let's get a conversation going, eh? Let's try and get it. Let's, let's try and get it out there. Um, I don't think, like I said before, I don't think it's getting discussed enough. But we'll, but we won't go on about it too much no, I'm more. Sharp, no, I'm yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm just gonna stop talking now. <laughs> I'm gonna bite my finger. Let's not talk about it anymore. I'm not saying we're in the doldrums or anything like that, but these things are are a worry, are an absolute worry, and we talk about them quite a lot, don't we? So um, yeah, 
and that's why it's nice to discuss them here because it's kind of like getting it out anyway really hope you enjoyed this chat don't forget all of the charities i talked about are going to be in the video description below please subscribe to our channel please hit the bell for notifications drop us a like and a comment and I promise there'll be a lighter, there'll be a lighter video coming up in a couple of days. <laughs> I think it's important, though. It's important. It is important. That we kind it is of, important. You know, we, that's kind of one of the things about our channel is that we we want to be honest about yeah, everything. Yeah, and we tackle the serious stuff and mm -hmm. the fun stuff. You know, it's great watching all the fun stuff, but equally, like I've always said, if we wanted to to do a channel or like with my blogs as well, it's it's important be for me to show all sides of life, and life isn't always you know fun and games and holidays and it's not kind of you know stuff. some some stuff is tough and some stuff um needs talking about i think it's only you know that's that's always been my kind of philosophy on all of the social media stuff that we do is that the only way i can do it is if that we're honest and show things from all sides so um you know as much as we love doing showing the fun side of our life and showing you know the good side of having a big family and and you know the the things the funny things the kids do i love all that sort of stuff sometimes the the difficult stuff needs tackling as well, as well. and i don't yeah. i think that's a good thing so you yeah. know too many people are frightened to talk about things and that's when that's when the th bad things happen so you know it's much better to talk to people about things than it is to keep it bottled up here here go on now. there you go guys Look, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to drop us comments, yeah? See you guys!